Let's bring in Jonathan Mossery. He's a spokesman for the Israeli Ministry of Defense. He joins me now live from Tel Aviv. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd like to ask you about this policy of yours. You're supposed to give, we've been told by you, 10 minutes for people to evacuate, but that's not happening. Some people are not giving any notice at all. Why not? The Israeli army analyzes everything on a case-by-case -case basis. We take a number of steps to warn residents and civilians in the area of terrorist infrastructures, launching sites of an incoming attack. We've used cell phone calls, recorded voice messages, SMS text messages, and leaflets that have been dispersed by air to warn civilians of incoming attacks uh, beforehand. But, but in some incidences, and the one that you've just been listening to, I mean, these families were given less than a minute, and in these homes, as you well know, there are uh, grandmothers, there are, are children, elderly people, you've got to evacuate them all out. Is that something that you just uh, see as being acceptable in this? It's important to note, again, Israel takes a number of steps to limit and prevent any civilian casualties. And the organization to blame for this is Hamas. Hamas places their terrorist infrastructure, rockets, launching sites in the center of civilian populations in homes and houses. And again, once these homes and houses are used for a military purpose, they become legitimate military targets. Okay, so, so you, you launched a, takes, a strike on, on the police chief the in Gaza. Of rockets into uh, you Israel. didn't kill him, and yet you killed women and children. I mean, is that seen as acceptable? How do you weigh up what is acceptable and how many innocent people have to die in order to target one person? I don't, I don't want to comment on that specific case. There's an ongoing investigation to understand what's going on. Well, that's not on. one case. That's, again, that's many cases where we are seeing case by more case and more women and children analysts. getting killed. Israel has taken unprecedented steps to limit civilian casualties. Unprecedented, and I haven't seen any army in the world that takes the steps Israel has done, again, from text messages, Oh, come on, you're asking messages, people to evacuate places like calls, Gaza, which is the most densely populated place in the world. Civilians. Okay, let's talk about northern Gaza. You, you are warning of an offensive Hamas there. Is, you Hamas You are asking is people to, to leave. When can you, can Hamas, you? when Ham in the In the past hour, I'll give you an update from now. In the past hour, the Israeli Air Force has been dropping leaflets over northern Gaza, an area called Beit Lahia, warning residents and civilians to stay away from terrorist infrastructure, launching sites, areas that are used by Hamas, and warn them, again, to prevent civilian casualties. And again, it is Hamas who is placing their terrorist infrastructure in the center of civilian areas, and Israel is doing whatever and anything it can to prevent and limit the number of civilian casualties. Uh, can you talk us through what we saw in the early hours, it seemed that you were launching some sort of naval offensive and there was talk of possibly boots on the ground. Is that something that we are likely to see at this stage? Well, at, the, at this stage, there have been primarily air attacks. But again, Israel will, and if necessary, take whatever steps to stop the rocket fire, and that includes any uh, available uh, techniques, weapons, and personnel. And again, the ultimate purpose is to stop the rocket fire and return the quiet to the south. Since the start of the operation, there have been more than 800 rocket attacks fired into Israel, into civilian populations, in cities, towns. And Israel, the Israeli army, will do whatever it takes to stop that rocket fire and deal a decisive blow against Hamas to limit and destroy their terrorist infrastructure and the rocket launchers to protect Israeli civilians. And it's also important to note that the Palestinian civilians in the Gaza Strip are also suffering. It is Hamas who is using them as human shields to prevent the Israeli army from destroying Hamas. Hamas is using them as shields to fire at Israeli civilian populations in Israel. So it is Hamas to blame. All right, as you say, both sides suffering greatly. Jonathan Mossery, thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us.